Today is November 12th, and it is day 37 since the war began between Israel and Hamas and Hezbollah. Here's some Hebrew newspapers, and we'll take a look uh, into their headlines. Israel Hayom, Israel Today, this is the newspaper. Seven more soldiers, IDF soldiers, were killed. Four of them were killed from a booby-trapped tunnel shaft. Gvurat Tzanchanei Hamiluim, the might of the um, paratroopers on reserve duty. And they say our, uh, our forces, meaning the Israeli forces, are deepening their hold in the core of Gaza City. And there has been, uh, they gained, the Israeli soldiers gained complete control over 11 um, Hamas strongholds. Here are the pictures of the seven soldiers that were killed. The main article reads that in the end of the war, Gaza will be demilitarized. And Netanyahu, Prime Minister Netanyahu says, no international lachatz, pressure, no international pressure will change our right to defend ourselves. This headline reads, might and pain. And the hard battles in Gaza, it says, Mamshichim Ligvot Mechir are continuing to be costly for Israel. Seven um, new soldiers are added to the soldiers that are killed in this war. And altogether, Israeli soldiers are 43 that were killed in the war. 43 soldiers. Let's look at some of the names and faces. Netanel, Matan, Sergei, Yehonatan, Gilad, Yosef, and Moshe. This reads, Lachayal Shali Be'ahava, to my soldier with love. And these are husbands at home, wives at home, sending love letters to their husbands that are serving right now in reserve duty. One of them is a, a husband sending it to his wife that's serving uh, in reserve duty down in the south. Yediot Achronot. This is a correspondent, war correspondent that's in Gaza. His name is Nachum Barnea, and he writes from his experience. At 325, there was a great explosion, Pitzutz Az. I understood that something unusual happened. And you see here a heavy vehicle, a military vehicle of the IDF, uh, helping to save um, the wounded. And also here it says, Hagiburim, the heroes that will not return, the fighters, the fighters that were killed uh, during the weekend. And we see their seven faces. Let's open up to the first article. This is about the war in Beit Hanun. Beit Hanun is a town in the northeast edge of the Gaza Strip. And it says it looks like Berlin in 1945. It's destroyed. Now it says that it was supposed to be a calm and peaceful place. But last Friday, where um, they realized it's all booby-trapped and the mosque was booby-trapped and places that were assumed to be safe were booby-trapped. Um, soldiers were, were killed, um, platoon commanders and his soldiers were killed and then severely injured too. Um, so the IDF needs to destroy and has been destroying a lot of it to protect um, the IDF and to eliminate the threat. This article reads, Hatzlachat Zvait, a military success, Kishalon Medini, a political failure. Israel b'milchama, Israel's at war. Kachi badnu, this is how we lost the uh, international publicity in front of the Western world. And this is just about bad publicity for Israel, a lot of misinformation, and Israel is not doing a good job in showing our case and our side of the story because it says Sinuar, which is number, the one, number one killer in Hamas, has, be, has become a mass hero in Europe and in the States. And it's not only anti-Semitism, they say, it is also a failure in explaining Israel's side. Gvu Lebanon b'nekudat reticha. It means that the border with Lebanon is in a boiling point. And it says, Esh lelo hafsaka, non-stop fire, gam batafon, also in the nor north. Gallant, who is the um, Minister of Defense in Israel, is threatening. He says, we'll know what to do in Beirut, what we're doing right now in Gaza. And this is because Hezbollah has been throwing lots of bombs 
shooting lots of bombs, anti-tank missiles, and so, so on, uh, into Israel from the north since the beginning of the war. The heroes that will not return. Hagiborim shelo yashuvu. And here are the faces and stories about the seven that were killed here as well. And the story, they seem like great guys. Uh, Yossi here, they say he was a exceptional um, educator, one of Israel's best uh, people, loving so many people. And Moshe, they say he was one of the also best guys ever, loving to help, he loved helping everybody. And Nati, Nati returned to reserve duty, especially for this war, ready to serve, ready to fight. May their memory be blessed. Sha'on ha'chol holech ve'ozel. This is about the hourglass that's running out. Sha'on chol is hourglass. Holech ve'ozel means running out. And this is about the international pressure on Israel to stop. Uh, Makarun says Israel should stop killing women and babies, and we know IDF does not do this. Uh, definitely not on purpose, like Hamas did. And Blinken is saying um, there's been a lot of um, destruction in Gaza and a lot of humanitarian, it's a humanitarian crisis in Gaza, and we need to stop. The next article is about stories of the grandparents who are fighting to return um, their grandchildren, to have them return. It says, Mitga'agim, we miss you. Saba Vesafta, from grandpa and grandma. And here, Nitsa and Gilad, they have a grandson who's eight years old being abduct who is abducted and their granddaughter, three years old, and they're hoping that their grandson with his great imagination, is able to find uh, how to occupy himself and to occupy his three-year-old sister. And Yaakov and Bella say that the grandchildren are their oxygen, you know, the oxygen that they breathe. They say it is physical pain that is hard to grasp even. Kamalia says that her 13-year-old uh, granddaughter, Gali, loves her chicken soup but she hasn't been able to cook, to cook the chicken soup or anything at all since a month ago, since her granddaughter was abducted on October 7th. As I turn to the last page, we see here the daily segment of Khatufim, the abducted ones. And here's Ella. Ella is holding posters of many of her family members that have been abducted. Many others have been killed. One of the ones abducted is her aunt, Shoshan Haran. And she has started an organization called Fair Planet, which helps uh, bring agriculture to third world countries so that people will not continue to starve. She is abducted in Gaza as well. These are the headlines in the main Hebrew newspapers. Please, for more stories, go to allisrael.com and follow us on social media and YouTube to get a first-hand account on what's going on in Israel. Thank you for standing with Israel. This is Rotem again for All Israel News.